Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Before we get started, I actually want to uh, give you a progress report on the, uh, the new book, um, working on it furiously, and uh, it uh, just about done with the, uh, with, with the manuscript. And um, so and the new book is going to be about uh, Taiji Chuan as a path to super consciousness. And um, and so I'd like to, particularly for those who maybe have not read either of the other books, the uh, uh, just a shameless plug here. This is uh, Taiji Tran through the Western Gate, and uh, this one is finding you in a world of it. And uh, the information about them is can be found in the uh, in the notes for the YouTube video. At uh, uh, Highly, uh, highly encourage you to purchase and read uh, those. Uh, a, a lot of what I will be doing in the in the uh, the, the next book will be uh, building on a lot of the stuff that's in those two, and uh, the uh, I guess I I'm, I'm hoping to get it out, get it published and available in uh, in 2025. So uh, that's the that's the plan right now. Um, so moving on, um, we had a, uh, uh, a request from, um, from The Flash uh, on YouTube. The, uh, there's, uh, somebody wrote in um, with the moniker The Flash and uh, asked for some clarification about intention and attention. And, you know, particularly, you know, I think uh, he was particularly concerned with the opening the jade pillow gate, and uh, but uh, I like to speak about it more generally, and then perhaps get into that in specific. So the idea between attention uh, of, of attention and intention, attention, I call it probably your most important superpower, and that is your your ability to control and regulate your attention is underlies your ability to do anything of any importance in the world. So your uh, and so the attention is is bringing your mind to something and the uh, intention is the is the actions, uh, the intention is, is is having a uh, a desire to be, do, or have something, and to then put the uh, put that into into action to actually move in that direction. So the intention is to to direct that desire and put attention uh, on it and and move in in, in that direction. So the attention, if one thing I, I, I had a thought about, how does one train attention if you're coming at it from particularly from like from, from a brand new place, you know, to kind of really get as an introduction to it? Because there, there are people who don't think you can control your attention and or have no concept of how to do that. Their, their mind is controlled by forces other and uh, your uh, if you cannot control your intention then something else or somebody else is going to do it for you and we have lots of distractions in the world which pull us pull our attention this way and that and our ability to particularly as martial artists our ability to to focus on the our attention is crucial to our ability to function and to move to a, a higher state of of uh, kung fu of ability in in in, uh, in our martial art, and so I, th I thought about a um, what makes it attention really important for me is meeting that is to move into relation with that which I'm placing attention on, and I get into this in finding you in a world of it more but the basic idea here is whenever i am thinking about something 
I have to objectify it. That is, I have to create space between me and the thing I'm thinking about. And then whenever I objectify, objectify something, it's primarily for the purpose of organizing my thoughts around it and being able to use it or function with it. And, and that's perfectly fine and, and important. However, whenever I want to really get into something and, and be able to, to make it part of me, I move into a shift from that object-based consciousness and move into a non-objective awareness, or at least in part. And that is to be able to meet it or see it as a, as a partner in the process. So to meet something, a very simple way of, of, of training yourself to do it. And this is really just to get that make that shift once you once you make the shift then then it becomes like instantaneous but uh, the way i i would say to train it is to to treat whatever it is as a as a partner in 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 some dance that you're doing and some relationship that you're doing so for instance if i say uh, i want to place my attention on my left index finger I can think about it objectively. Say, okay, there's a finger there, and I'm going to point the finger, and that's an object-based consciousness that I'm I'm using at that point. And there is a a distance between myself and the object that I'm considering. There's a subject-object relationship there. However, if I meet my finger and say, "Where are you?" and where are you finger you know and and oh here you are uh at which point i am moving into a relationship with my finger and when suddenly instead of being this thing that i'm thinking about it is my partner this finger there's there is some distance between myself and my finger but there's also a resonance that get that gets created. And so if we think about that with any part of your body, and you can extend beyond your body, but just, just to start with that to get the because that was the way the question was was came up. It's like, how do you get attention, you know, on these parts of your body, particularly ones of ones you don't ordinarily think about? We do it by getting into meeting. We meet with the with the part. So if you just uh, just work with me here with this, and we'll just do a little uh, a short exercise to to create the template for that, and then you can play with that as you will, and in, in terms of of developing that ability to 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 meet. So um, let's say you your right wrist. So just think about your right wrist. And that places attention on it. Now think, okay, where are you, wrist? Oh, here you are. And just notice that when you create that state of relation there, there is the separation gets less. There's there's more of a a a, a resonance, and you are both part of a, a single system. And you can do it with your your left wrist and you say oh where are you wrist here you are and you can touch it you can feel it you can whatever you just did it to get your attention get your mind there and when you do that whenever you go into relation with it notice that all everything else disappears there's nothing else that, that really matters in that moment but but your wrist at which point you can then dial back on that and say okay I've got that relationship established. I'm feeling my wrist now. And then I can then shift into relation with other things or think about other things because I've already established this. I've moved into a super conscious state. And so to make that happen. So one of the things that people have a lot of trouble really getting a feeling for is the elbow. 
I say reach with your elbow. And that's like, you can, people think about it in an abstract way. Like, oh yeah, I sort of get this idea of, of reaching with the elbow, whatever. But to actually feel the elbow and to really get into resonance with it, you know, just, just think about that right now. Just think about, you know, where are you, elbow? Oh, here you are. And just just allow yourself to to resonate with it. What's happening then, there's something happening in your nervous system that is taking this and making this more substantial for you. But this opens the door to that. And you say, okay, here's my, my right elbow. And say, so where are you now? Oh, here you are. And boom, you're... You're there. Now you're feeling your elbows and you can do that with any part of your body and then extending beyond that. And you create this, this idea of meeting and get it into everything that you can encounter in your world. Whenever you do that, you shift your state of being, your state of awareness and move yourself more into the present moment. It is really kind of goofily simple but it uh it, it for me it works like gangbusters so moving on from there so we got that uh, that's attention then intention it's what do i want to be do or have is a way i like to think about it so it's like if i want to create an effect in the world or i want to possess something or be something i need to have the thought that oh yeah that's what i want and then, but before it becomes an intention, that right, like it's a wish at that point, but to really become a, a firm intention, it's a, then it go, you go from a wanna to a gonna. So, oh yeah, I want to do this. I want, I want, I'd like to raise my right hand, you know? So that, oh, that's the feeling there. I have a wish there to raise my, my right hand. So, but to have the intention to raise my right hand, like oh no oh uh, yeah there's a, that's that's going up there I'm engaging my right hand in a way that I'm making something happen raise my left hand I want to raise my left hand okay I'm bring my attention there and I say yes boom and this is one of those things too like just like attention whenever you do it um consciously slow it down and really get conscious with that with that idea that there oh there's a there's a want to as a going to i'm i want to do this i'm going to do this and so then you move things in that direction and that's uh how we get that so going with the jade pillow gate it's like oh i want to i first bring my attention to my the crown of my head it's like oh okay where are you now oh here you are you know you can touch it you can feel it and say yes okay it's no longer just a concept an idea it is it is a partner for you in this process you say oh i'm gonna tuck in my oh, i want to tuck in my chin too okay so that I, my chin's on here i'm gonna just pull back a little bit i'm gonna feel that one i want to do that i'm going to do that and then my jade pillow gate then opens and allows that energy to move more freely. And, you know, again, this, as you get comfortable doing this, you're moving from pure abstraction. That is just your, your mind thinking about something and saying, oh, yeah, wouldn't it be nice if to, oh, no, I'm going to make that happen. And that's the direction we're going with in yeah, and, and all these exercises, we want to do that. And once you get that really good at that, then you start to open up to energies and information that are beyond your immediate body mind. And you incorporate those into the process as well. You can help to guide those in the direction you want to go. So that's the uh, that's my my spiel about intention and attention. Um, moving on from there, I'd like to take one more dive into the pool of uh, those four points we've been doing the last couple of weeks. And just to, um, I'm not going to get too deep into explaining them because we did that 
we did that previously, but just to identify them again, we have with this point right here at the at the uh, in your armpit is the H1 or heart one point. It's the first point on the heart meridian, and it is called the um, the Jin Quan Jin Quan. Um, uh, yeah, Quan, and it's a uh, Chuan Jing Chuan. It's uh, the uh, uh, the heart one, and means the utmost source, and that guides your uh, governs your energy, your your the circulation of of your blood and other fluids in your body, and also the circulation of your chi, and it is the utmost source because it is. It's making stuff happen throughout your whole body. And to get tuned into that, then we're receiving that, that energy, you know, that comes, it enters in through that, those points. So in, in both armpits, so they, uh, you press in with the, uh, with your finger into the armpit as you're doing it, just to get that feeling of, of the, uh, of that point. The other uh, two points are your Chi, chi Chong points which are uh, here on your uh, inguinal crease, about halfway down. So you're pressing in on, on your inguinal crease. The, uh, and these are your stomach 30 points. And this is your thrusting chi, your gushing chi points. And so what they're doing is they're, they're amplifying the flow of chi in your body. So you're, this is, these are kind of create the amplitude or create uh, uh, make a more and the and the G Tran points here they are uh, uh, it's G Tran not Jing Tran um, they uh, control the circulation so we're getting so we're and they uh, the thrusting chi points also amplify your circulation so both these 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 four points when they get when we connect them up, we, we bring our awareness to them, our attention to them, then we create more uh, chi and blood and lymphatic flow and, and the, whole, the whole lot through the body. And uh, so what I'd like to do is to, to review that just by going through the process again, but then include it into um, a modified version of the exercise we did here a few months ago, which is the dragon yearns to fly but cannot uh, meditation. And it's that the the step-by-step -step, uh, part of that is uh, available on a video on the uh, on, on this channel. Uh, but uh, I'm going to modify it just uh, for, for our purposes here today and really get the Feel that into that uh, that particular exercise. So, why don't you stand up, please, and we'll get uh, we'll get into uh, into that. Let's uh, begin. Just get our, our three pillars. Establish our central equilibrium. Feel into the ball of your foot. Knees are unlocked. Feel yourself sinking into the earth. Get very soon release down. Now reach with the crown of your head. Put your attention there. Locate that. Where are you, crown? Oh, here you are. And tuck in your chin. Locate that. Be yourself sinking. So, feel your crown seeking upward, reaching upward into the heavens, just as everything else is moving down, down through your feet, seeking the earth. And point your index fingers and feel your energetic coherence. Locate them. Where are you now? Notice just mentally asking yourself that question. 
here you are, yeah. How that immediately plugs into the energy. You're moving into a super conscious state as we, as we do this, as we meet in this way. Reach with your elbows, find your elbows. Where are you now? Oh, here you are. You feel them, feel your elbows and notice that your hands like get this little burst whenever you plug into that, when you meet your elbows. Find your qua and rotate just to open that up. Feel that sung qua release down. Okay, so. Now just bring your arms up and up about chest high and open. Arch your back, open your chest, your shoulders, and look up at the ceiling, open. And receive yourself have the intention I want I want to receive taking the energy in and then turn your body sink into your right leg and turn open and then turn sink into your left foot turn to your right and open, receive, taking in the energy of the earth and the sky, allowing it to circulate, and then back to center, hands come down, And find your feet, meet them. Where are you now? And extend your awareness through your feet. Meet the earth. Where are you now, earth? Feel that connection that you've, you're forging just by meeting. Reach to the crown. Reach to the heavens. Where are you now, heavens? Here you are. Receive. And then massage your inguinal crease. And feel that. And then press in on your stomach 30. Let's find a tender spot there and, and bow forward. Breathe. Where are you now? Thrusting chi points. Breathe. Come up. Your hands come down and sink. Feel your find your feet again. Where are you now, feet? Where's that? You can feel the energy. Feel the earth. And 
Hands come up. Reach out, open, and arch your back. And receive. Come up and down. Press down. Sink. Go to your heels and feel the yin. Where are your heels? Oh, here they are. Feel the energy in your arms. Feel the meridians as they're, as you're, you're thrusting chi and your utmost source are expanding your circulation. And reach up with your wrists, feel your wrists. Where are you now, wrists? Ah, here you are. Fingers. Reach forward and sink into your heels and feel that opposition. Now pull back your hands and go forward with your body. And reach with your elbows. Find your elbows. Where are you now, elbows? Oh, here you are. Hands come down, and it's turn this way now to and step forward with your right foot and reach out with your hands and feel opening at your heart one points. Feel the connection with your stomach thirty and sink into your your left foot. Reach up with your right hand and turn. Feel your hand reaching up, opening up that armpit, opening up at both armpits, reaching down, feeling the connection with your, your thrusting chi points. Feel your two hands and poles in opposition. Feel your elbows and poles in opposition. And pivot on your right heel. Step around with your left foot. Think of your right foot and left hand comes up. Feel it coming over that hurt one point and then up your arm. Pivot on your left foot and turn. I'm not going to turn, go this way, okay? So you're turning. Feel that the connection between those four points. Right hand comes up, open, reach. Feel that expansion there. Arch your back, right hand comes up. So you're really reaching here. You're opening up your, uh, you're leaning, you're, you're stretching as you're gonna turn. You pivot on your left heel, turn around and step 180 degrees. And Draw your elbows back and reach out. Feel that. We're slowing everything way down here. I want you to really just feel the chi here in this. And then turn. You're reaching up under your left armpit. Feel that coming up the inside of the left arm with, with the palm of your hand. 
and go on, okay, and turn. So your right hand out, left palm under your uh, navel, palm up, and left hand comes up. Feel that extension, really opening up, allowing the chi to circulate throughout your whole body. Pivot on your right heel. You're reaching up with your left hand now, opening up the left side of your body. You reach back with your right elbow and turn and step around. Reach under your right arm, come up. Open. The right hand comes up, palm up. You feel, you look at your left hand. Turn back to the front. Hands come down. Just sink into your heels and feel the energy circulating. Arch your back, open your chest, let your arms get very sung, let them hang down, arch your back, look up to the ceiling, open your chest, shoulders, open your neck, and receive. Now sink into your right foot and pivot to your left. your arm just hanging. Pivot on your left heel, pivot on your right, and turn to the right. Open. Open your chest, your shoulders. Receive. Pivot on your right heel, turn back to center. Sink into your heels. Let all that go. There's Allow yourself to just be. Step in. Take a deep breath, inhale. With the balls of your feet and now sink at your heels and exhale and disappear the chi. Throw that all away.
create space for the nature chi to come in, the big chi. Did that a little shorter today, just because I wanted to make give people a chance to, uh, uh, if any clarifications are needed, or any questions or comments or whatever. So, uh, we uh, how'd it go? Good, good, great. Any thoughts you'd like to share? Valerie. Well, I'm almost embarrassed to say that I haven't been practicing that form. So the the turns around were a little bit mm -hmm. a little confusing or a little bit harder, but I got the idea. Um, at the end, when you had, <clears throat> had us just standing, um, you know, and letting all that go, I don't know if it's in yogic or if it's in Chinese medicine where you see the swirls of energy going up your arm. Do, does that ring a bell? I got it. <laughs> you know, I, I, I had, I have never quite experienced the energy moving that way that, you know, mm almost the helix kind of thing going up. Mm. Well, if I wasn't a convert before, I am a convert <laughs> now. I, I like it. <laughs> that, was, that was very cool. That was a unique experience. And um, mm. I hope it's not the last time I get that feeling because. Pretty yay. cool. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Terrific. Uh, anybody else, any other thoughts, questions? Observations, Scott? Yeah, that was, um, that was a lot of chi. Um, you didn't mind it being too short. <laughs> uh, I, could, I could have went more, but if I would have, if it were any more chi, I probably would have fall, fell over. But I, uh, I, was, I was feeling a full... Full cup. Oh, yeah. So I, yeah, no, I'm I'm uh, still full. That's that definitely. Um, but it felt good to move it around. So mm. uh what was I gonna say other than that? Uh yeah, just very I think a, a lot of got a lot of earth energy out of it because I'm just really calm. Mm. You know, just like calm and confident, like like everything's good and don't bother to mess with me because it's going to be a waste of your time. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Valerie. I don't know if this is um, quite the right time to, to say this, but I'm wrapping up one of my jobs and I'll be my last day is December 31st. And it just seems like so much is piling on me, you know, to make that transition and trying to, to get my shoulders down to, you know, let my body feel the song. Um, it's just been very, very difficult just in the last couple of weeks in particular. And uh, I don't know if this will help anybody else or confuse the heck out of them, but um, I used to use this years ago, and that is likening my body to a hanger. Okay, so my head is the top part, right? And as it goes over that pole, it's, it's pulling up. And I think of, uh, I've got a heavy leather coat. And that leather coat is just hanging mm. and just grabbing that visualization helps me tremendously really, really let go. Nice. Um, so, yeah, like I said, you know, this is pulling up. It's keeping everything 
going up and then everything else just gets to hang. Right. Right. And I was using that tonight. You know, when I when we were even up here, you know, I would feel my shoulders bunch up and I just let that that uppermost part be pulling me up as my body was able to just let go and hang on the hanger. I, I didn't have to use muscle to to be upright. Right. But anyway, I don't know if that helps anybody or sounds stupid. I think you just gave a great a great example of sung. Yeah. So you've you know, and uh, I use the term sung several times in that exercise. So people who who are looking for what what the hell is he talking about? That uh, uh, you just gave it there. That's that's a really good idea of sung. Thank you. Scott. Um, it's funny she said that because um, I've been working on that. I've been working on that this week. And what I realized was that I wasn't lifting enough. I was sinking my body, but I wasn't lifting enough. And it was really hindering some of the more different parts of the form where I have more difficulty because I wasn't, because I was too much down and there was nothing up. So the, that up part, even though it's most of your body's down, the up part is really, really important. Thank you for pointing that out. That's good. Yeah, real good. Well, one thing, one thing I find useful when I'm like really stressed or trying to get, you know, have too much going on, is to open from the shoulder blades because we always think up and down, but we forget about sideways. Mm. So opening between the shoulder blades and just like reaching out with your arms and your elbows just um can you chum this like this yeah just kind of doing a few of those just opening up really feeling the back opening up uh, gives you more space mm. it's like your Good space point. is collapsing you want to give yourself some more space and so you can think of like opening a you know opening a parting a curtain as your arms go and giving yourself more space, but very loosely. Uh -huh. Nice. Then, nice. Good. Jonathan, you had something. You're on mute. mute. You're on mute. Still on mute. <laughs> there you okay. go. So, uh, yeah, Maria, thank you for that. I, I actually don't think enough attention can be drawn to the scapula. Uh, they're so involved. And talk about Rick's thing about meeting, like, oh, there you are, scapula. Like, who knows if they're scapula, but it's <laughs> it's it's hugely important. But going to what Valerie was talking about, about shoulders down, you know, with Rick, it our t-shirt could almost be that shoulder, that shoulder, because every time we're, we're you know, engaging him <laughs> and doing that cheer, he's testing us, every one of us, you know, from you know, I've been around him a long time, but even Dennis has been longer and Maria even longer. We're all like, okay, we're still shouldering. So, and sometimes I wonder like, hey, how does Rick, how does Rick know that? How does he always know I'm using my shoulder? So for one thing, the Sung Gung, where we were lifting, you know, just starting by lifting our arms up like that, the sequential activation of the joints, I went and looked in a mirror and I went, oh, well, it couldn't be freaking more obvious. <laughs> There's my shoulder going up. So uh, I encourage everybody when you're practicing sequential activation of the joints, which I hope Rick, because we have a little time, we'll give maybe a two minute uh, review about, uh, practice it in front of a mirror. That's my advice. Cool. <laughs> Valerie. And you've said this a million times and I'm going to repeat it in my words, that when you're holding that tension and that, in, you know, the shoulders, the scapula, giving it space, Maria, you couldn't have said that more eloquently, that allows, I mean, you know, it's all kinks in the hose and doing, you know, getting these four points activated, you know, if it's all tense, you ain't activating anything, you know, it, it's, you're blocking it. So really paying attention with the intention of having the energy flow. It, well, that was brilliant. <laughs> that was really good, Valerie. You know, it's, it's <laughs> paying attention what you're doing. So your intention of getting that energy or letting, not getting, but letting that energy flow. That's why I had the spirals 
going up my arms. <laughs> you know, it was I got myself sung. I let myself be sung. And it it just makes a tremendous difference. And that may just seem like, well, yeah, I know that, but it's doing it. It's Beautiful. yeah, I know that intellectually, but are you doing it? Beautiful. Uh the uh the, the my explanation of intention attention uh with, with meeting, did that uh did that come across? Does that resonate? Is that uh that help was that helpful, basically? Yes. I know it works for me. I just curious if it, if it works for anybody else. I find that if if I include the meeting into the aspect into it. It immediately, you know, cranks up the uh, the energy dramatically. So, uh, everybody else, good, good. Can I just have an unrelated point? Okay, here's an unrelated <laughs> point. Would you like to come on camera to, to no. do your? Yes, no, you come on camera. Yes. Come on. Come on. Go. Come I, on, dude. Cut it out with the peer pressure. Have the pop. <laughs> All right. Hooray! Unrelated point, uh, as we're opening up energy gates and we're loosening up our joints and we're, you know, letting go of excess tension, we are allowing more energy to come through. And so we are actually upgrading our wiring. And as you upgrade your wiring, more energy will come through. And as more energy comes through, if you relax into it, you're upgrading your wiring. It's circular. Mm. The thing is to allow the energy to flow, which will upgrade your ability to allow energy to flow. Unrelated point, but I just had to say oh. it. I love you. Guys. I think it was spot on. I, I think it's very related. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Go. Uh, anybody else? Any other thoughts? Scott. Um, when we, when we're, you know, releasing and yeah, that's, I, I have to really work on what, you know, if I let my neck go back too far, it hurts. Like it really hurts. So I really, have to, I really have to focus on reaching and allowing, but not, you know, overdoing it. As soon as it's pain, I, I back off. But mm -hmm. what Marie was just saying is I really have been, since you've been doing this, we've been doing this the last couple of weeks, I've really been just allowing the energy to, to flow. And I definitely have noticed the difference. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for, for pointing that out. And so it just, it's something I kind of do naturally, but I, it, it, it deserves to be called, call, you know, brought to your attention. So when, when you're, when you're, Looking up like this is you're not just kinking the hose here. You're actually reaching with the crown of the head as you as you go back. So you're you're lengthening your neck. You're not just cranking it. You're you're lengthening the neck as you extend as you extend as you extend backward, and so that opens up the joints in your between your vertebrae. Open up the spaces between your vertebrae, so you're not creating a um, you know, uh, uh, too much uh, uh, pressure on the uh, on the individual vertebrae. So uh, that kind of fits in what you're saying there, Scott. Cool. Um, well, apropos of uh, what Jonathan was saying, we got a couple minutes here. So just just to uh, you know, what we're what what he's talking about here is that whatever we're you know say let's I'm doing the uh, Tong Gong exercise. You know, here where I'm going like this, right? And so the arms are are really, really relaxed. And notice that the shoulder is not. I'm not doing this. I'm not cranking up the shoulders. I'm doing it. So as as I'm reaching up here, I'm reaching with my wrist. And notice my fingers are relaxed. Mm. What I'm not doing is this. I'm not reaching out like that because. And just try it with yourself, even just sitting down. Reach out like that and just notice that you extend your fingers and automatically you engage your shoulder joint. And so, but if you come out here and you reach with the wrist and allow your finger 
your fingers to just hang, then you disengage your shoulders. And just while you're out there, just kind of reach out there and notice that, that there is a little bit of, of, of tension that goes into it. So you come out here and then you can extend here and then come down. You're reaching down with the elbow, down with the wrist, and then you know, you're coming up, you set your elbow, you reach with the wrist. So there's a boom, you're up, your your arm comes up like this to about you know about shoulder height. But notice that you know, you're reaching with the wrist, not not pushing the arm up with your shoulder. And so that's that's the you know the, the secret of getting this really kind of uh, nice and relaxed arms here. Everything is nice and flowing, boom, and you're training yourself to disengage your shoulder in other situations because it just really just gets in the way. It blocks your chi whenever you create that muscular tension in your shoulder. Did that uh, communicate? Good, good, good. Cool, Jonathan. Yeah, I mean, it's a, for me, it, it's important because I've heard other teachers teaching Sung Gong and they talk about relaxed arms, like an elephant's trunk and all this. But if you don't really pay attention to what Rick is showing about the sequential activation and what is, is definitely not being just relaxed, but a certain intention, attention to, it won't work. You know, it, it's 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 what a, the that that amount of structure allows for the rest to really relax in the way these other teachers are teaching you, but it, it, it's always the missing element. I've never heard anyone, and I'm you know maybe there is someone, but I haven't seen anyone but Rick teach this. Thanks. That, that yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So, and that goes into the you know where are you now, wrist? You know, <laughs> like feel your wrist. It's not just just throw it out there. You know, uh, which, right. you know, right. it, it, it's like this foreign object. It is, no, no, this is, this is my partner in this little exercise we're doing. And, and it enables it to, uh, enables me to move more into present time with the, with the, with the exercise. Yeah. Cool. Anybody else before we sign off? Scott. I have to say, watching you do that, it looked like Maria was screwing with the playback speed. The way your arms move, you, you should you should watch you should you should go back and watch this because it, really like, it, it just I, I don't you know it's like the way you're doing it so effort, effortlessly it just it looks I don't know if it's slowed down or what but it, you really you should watch it it's really interesting okay <laughs> cool I will <laughs> <laughs> but it once once you get that going you know your arms then become you know the very supple and 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 very uh, resilient, and you enables you to to then express your jin, you know, very easily without you know getting the excess muscular tension in the way. Cool. So thank you. Cool. Okay. Thank you all so much. It's been great. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Thank okay. you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye bye. Bye.